had a lot of snow and rain over the last few days, so much so that Bogus Basin is briefly opening up again this Saturday. Hashtag Supply Chain Saturday. I love that. It's their bonus bogus day. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. But how much will all this moisture that we're getting impact Idaho's drought situation? Well, to answer that, we have team coverage tonight. Idaho's Chief Meteorologist Rick Lance is tracking the forecast with another storm heading our way. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. Yeah, but we're going to start with Andrew Bartline, who talked to a water supply expert. Andrew, this had to have helped us out, at least made a little bit of a dent. A little bit, not a bad way to phrase it, but the state's hydrologist I spoke with today hope that that's just the beginning. Snowpack across the state has been low. It started to melt early, but this last week of weather has built up the snowpack to what they would like to see or closer to what they'd want it to be. They're even calling it a second peak. Wet weather for a week. Water supply specialist Aaron Wharton says this is exactly what Idaho needed. To me, it's a great thing. It's it might be a band-aid, but we'll have to wait and see. This is because we've already seen three straight months of dry conditions, stalling out snowpack levels across the state. And Wharton says Idaho needed a big snowpack year to ease drought conditions and meet water demand. But nearly all snowpack levels below the Salmon River Mountains are facing a down year. We were seeing our snowpack starting to melt quite early, um, as early as mid-March, which is really unusual. Idaho needed something unusual to reverse course, and this week the precipitation stopped the melting and even built some of the snowpack back up. For example, this graph shows the Morse Creek summit. The black line is the current snowpack level. The green line represents the snowpack level during a median year. The recent wet weather has contributed to snowpack gains, but the snowpack is still far below the median peak level. This shows the recent precipitation is necessary, but not sufficient on its own. It could just mean a shorter irrigation season. It can mean curtailments. It just depends which basin folks are in. But yeah, it's going to be a tough year. Wharton says water supply is still negatively impacted by last summer, leaving our reservoir storage levels low. Nearly 70% of Idaho was under severe drought conditions. Idaho Department of Water Resource Hydrologist David Hokema says there's a growing probability that the Littlewood and Boise River systems could see adequate water supply to meet irrigation demand. However, summer temperature and long-term improvements in the precipitation trend will be needed. We'll just have to wait and see. But for the most part, we do need a lot of rain and snow to make up for such a poor um, winter. Now, the good news is that North Idaho is looking pretty good. The snowpack up there is largely at normal levels. But Southern Idaho, especially in and around Boise, needs a lot more help to get there. So, Rick, please give me some good news. I'm willing to keep my golf clubs in the trunk for a few days maybe a week or so if uh, we can get some more progress to get out of this drought. Well, I